Yo. What's up? How we doing, boss? Good, man. Chilling. LA? Philly? No, nah, man. I'm in LA. How's, uh, how's quarantine treating you? Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. My time schedule is all messed up. I'm used to getting up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm getting up like at 11, oh, no. 12. Oh, like, so <laughs> I'm doing the nice. same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it's that crazy. gym down? How's the gym down there? How's, how's it been for business? Because obviously it's crippling for so many businesses, but you've just started up a great new gym in LA. You were flying. Yeah, yeah. I saw all your social media stuff. It was packed yeah. all the time. No, the gym, right? it, the gym, man, it was it's doing it was doing great. I mean, right now it's on it's on hold, but it was doing great, man. You know, uh staying busy with it. Uh it's it's one of those gyms where it's not really uh for for boxers, it's more just the average folks that just, mm. you know, get off from work, come to the gym. So it's, it's dope. Last time out was, I think, uh, forgettable. In that. Yeah. <laughs> for the people who don't uh, know, basically, Gabe was standing by to fight Danny Jacobs because yeah. Julio Cesar Chavez is fucking crazy as, as shit. Yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. we always felt that actually Danny Jacobs would probably end up fighting Gabe Rosado. So Gabe was standing by. He was going to have a little eight rounder on the card just in case he didn't fight Danny Jacobs. Anyway, somehow, some way, Julio Cesar Chavez finds his way into the fight. So Gabe's in not much of a fight. That, I'm going to... and, and, he, and he paid an extra million. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, uh, not me, not me. Chavez did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so then I'm going to get Gabe on early. Right. So Gabe comes to me and says, listen, why am I on so early? I said, well, listen, there's such a packed card. You're in an eight rounder. What I could do is we could. Well, I was actually you. a ten rounder. Ten rounder. I yeah, could yeah. float you, and we'll 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 fit you in. There's going to be stoppages, blah blah blah. Anyway, of course, there isn't really a lot of stoppages, and Gabe sits there for about six hours waiting to fight. Danny Jacobs goes out. The madness ensues. The beers come flying in the ring, mm -hmm. like the whole ring is covered in Tecate, right? Yeah, yeah. And the commission say to me, no. We're done for the night. Gabe's sitting there. I think by then, even by that point, you were like, do you know what? Maybe I'll just go home. Yeah. I said to the commission, listen, give it five minutes. Let Gabe fight. You know, he's been training. And I wanted you to have the win to get the win yeah, to yeah. come back because we know we're talking about world championship fight. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you go out there. There was about, there was about 20 people there. Everyone's gone. <laughs> and I'm doing the media backstage and I'm popping out and watching. It goes the eight rounds. And I'll see you coming back. And I was just like, oh, no. And you're like, yo, Eddie, Eddie, what the fuck, man? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Hey, I just got to go and see someone. Wait a minute. But listen, I was pleased that you got out and got the win. You needed that win on your record uh, coming off, off the Selecki defeat. But we want to talk that you've given unbelievable entertainment over the years. You feel yeah. like you still have a lot left in the sport. Yeah, I want to go sure. straight. I want to go straight into the Daniel Jacobs yeah, question. Yeah. Firstly, where does that beef come from? I saw something with you two on an escalator uh -huh. ages ago. But you thought yeah. you two aren't like massive on beef do you know what I mean like Danny I've, I've never really seen Danny lose his head which he I mean the other, the other night I gave him the list of all the world champions at 68 and he says he wants to fight you yeah 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 so where, where does it come from I think it comes from is with two East Coast guys he's from Brooklyn I'm from Philly and me and him were supposed to fight years ago it was way back from when I fought Peter Quillen for the world title which was a fight I was winning and got stopped on cuts at the end he was up to fight the winner. And then it kind of just stirred from there, where we were supposed to fight and it never happened. And then I, I said some things about him that he didn't like on, uh, you know, I said, I called him a bootleg Andre Ward. He didn't like that. <laughs> and then, uh, so he threw shots back and then that's just where it came from. But, um, you know, I've been calling him out, been wanting to fight. I think the fight is huge just in boxing period, but especially if it was in the East Coast being he's from Brooklyn. I've headlined in Brooklyn and in uh, Madison Square Garden, so I have a big fan base in his hometown. So it's just, it's just well, listen, all we could do. All we could happen. do it in Philly. I spoke to him the other day. He said he was happy oh, yeah. to come to Philly as well. well great, you saw, great you saw, you saw the time. crowd was selected. Oh man, it was, it was that nuts. was unbelievable. That was one of my favorite fights uh, yeah, yeah. of the year. You and Selecki. the atmosphere was unbelievable. Yeah. But I think I agree. I think you against Danny Jacobs in New York or in Philadelphia. Goes oh, well. For sure. You, you confident in that in that fight? I mean, look, he's a, he's a two-time world champion. Move to 168. He's, You're not really a 168 guy, but like he's, he's moving there. You know. Yeah, yeah. Here's the funny thing: me, me and Jacobs 
we did a camp years ago in in, in Poconos, in the, um, in the Poconos in PA. And, um, you know, I kind of see his style. I've seen him throughout the years. I feel like, especially now, I'm with Freddie Roach now. Freddie Roach is just, a, we had a great camp. We were preparing as if we were fighting Jacobs, thinking that Chavez would come out. So we had a great camp, great sparring. I feel great at 68. I feel a lot stronger at 68 now that I don't have to cut down. You know, I, I walk around like 85. So for me to get down to 60, it takes a lot of work. So um, I like my chances with anyone at 68 right now. At 68 is loaded. So you got you got Smith, you got Saunders, and you know you got Canelo. Everybody, man. So I think with um, Freddie Roach, man, we're just we're ready for whoever at the division. You've been around boxing, you know boxing inside out. When we talk about that 68 division, and we look at yeah. the champions, and give you those four world champions: Callum Smith, Billy Joe yeah. Saunders, Benavidez, and Caleb Plant. Mm -hmm. Starting with number four, the weakest. I want you to rank those those uh, those four champions for me, and don't, don't I would sit say, on the bench. This is going, so I would say number four because he's inconsistent. Is Saunders? Okay, Saunders is the most beatable out of all of them because he's inconsistent and he's just everywhere. And this is a is a you know, I would put Saunders four. I would put um, Plant three. Yeah. Even though I like playing a lot, but he hasn't fought, you know, really a big name. Then I'll put uh, Benavides, and then I'll put uh, Smith. Smith number one. Yeah, I really wouldn't consider Canelo the uh, the top guy because I don't. Canelo's holding the interim, and and Smith holds the world title. Yeah, two big yeah. guys, Smith and Benavides, yeah. two two monsters at sixty eight as well. Yeah. Two yeah. massive guys. I love that fight. Like Benavides that. is really, Benavides is a really good fighter, but he's still young. So there's a lot of learning he has to do, but he's a good he's a good fighter. But yeah, I would put I would put Saunders for just because he's very inconsistent. But if Saunders has skills. You know, he might start calling you out now if you now you put him number four. He won't like that. <laughs> well, we, well, we were remember we were supposed to That's fight right, yeah. on the on the on the Paul fight on the yeah. Paul card. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it just didn't work out. That well, I that's why that we needed night. to get you to win. He, he, yeah, that, he that's right. You're right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. But, um, Listen, so yeah. for you, for you, hopefully we get through this soon, and we we look to make that Jacobs fight on the East Coast. We talk about your yeah. career, Gabe. You've had some amazing fights, some amazing yes. nights, but you just yeah. keep kind of reinventing yourself. You yeah, know? like it's like oh, yeah. Rosado's done, and he comes back, gets a couple of good wins. I mean, you lost against yeah. Sulecki in a very tight fight, and in fact, if you would have yeah. started better, you would have won that fight. Yeah, yeah. But what's yeah. left? What's left for Gabe Rosado? What does the future look like? over the next couple I, of years. You've given a lot to the sport. I think it's four on 15 years pro, which is crazy, right? So Bernard Hawkins says, you're lucky to have 10 years. So just to have 15 is, is insane. But I think, I think I'm sharp, you know, the experience. And then I think now bringing in Freddie into the, into this next chapter, I think is going to open everything up. I think for sure, we're going to surprise the 68 division I mean, I see myself, my goal is to win a world title against whoever it is. I think at, our, at my A game, I can definitely do it. I, I'm, my, I'm my worst enemy, honestly. Any fight that I've lost, it wasn't like I got, you know, dominated. There were fights that were close, bad bad decisions or cuts or things like that. So it wasn't like I was ever, you know, maybe a, a, a Golovkin fight was a fight where he definitely got the best of me, you know, it was a Golovkin in his prime. But, um... Other than that, man, I've always been in the fight. I think it's just up to me to just stay focused, staying sharp, having a good camp, and then bringing in a trainer like Freddie, who pretty much controls the camp. I'm a control freak. So if you allow me to control the camp, I'm going to call the shots, and it's going to yeah, be the way I'm going to do it. With Freddie, it, ain't, it, don't, it was my first time doing a camp with Freddie where I literally just did whatever he wanted. You know, no, no entourage, no nothing. It was just me and Freddie. That's so that was, that was kind of like something new where I went into the fight just feeling great, you know. So it was just a different look. So I, I, I think it's, we're going to see uh, Gabriel Rosado win a world title. Good stuff. Hopefully, well, listen, hopefully this year. Well, we'll I, see. Think, listen, I think the UV Jacobs is, is a, a good chance of happening. And I think the winner of that fight has to go and fight for a world title. So listen, it's been a pleasure having you on, my friend. Stay safe Please over right. there. We'll catch All right, up you soon. stay safe. Oh, and... and yeah, go, um, go. And prayers to your father as well. Um, Thank you, mate. No, he's, he's good. Oh, Daniel, Jacobs just, Daniel Jacobs has just come on and done a laughing face. 
Any, any last words? Something. Any last words? Listen, I, I will, I will not, I will knock out Daniel Jacobs if the fight happens because I, I can beat Daniel Jacobs. I see a lot of flaws in his game. I think he's more hyped than anything. I like the guy, but I don't think he's what uh, they make him out to be. So I, I would definitely like to fight Jacobs to knock him out and do what Canelo didn't do or G didn't do. So definitely. Okay. All right, yep. Well, I'm sure he'll respond in due course, and we'll speak soon. All right, for sure. Cheers, Gabe. Take care, mate. All right, man. Have a good one. Listen, I like I like Jacobs against uh, there he is Scrub. Oh, you missed it. I love Jacobs against um, Rosado, and I like it on the East Coast. I like the build up. I like the fight. I like everything. So we'll see when we're back up and running. It's a fight we'll definitely look to make. I know Danny Jacobs wants Callum Smith, another world champ.